How's it going everybody? Blue Hill Kid here again. Uh, I'm on a YouTube video. Yeah, just spree. I'm doing videos like a madman today. Uh, well, in this past week. So let's talk about EDC knives. These are the four EDC knives that I've been carrying for the last two months. Some of them longer than others. Um, actually, this one I just got for Christmas and this one I just got about a week ago. And uh, these other two, though, I've had for a while, and they were in my main rotation for a while. And I kind of want to talk about all four of these knives. I've done videos on all four of these knives, I think, except maybe not this Kershaw. Um, but I've done videos on these knives, and I kind of want to talk about why I like some knives over the other and kind of show you broad spectrum why I like them over them. Uh, so this one, we did a unboxing video. Well, not really an unboxing video, but an overview video. And um, I just did an update video on this knife. This is the Schrade OTF. This one is an old favorite, the Ontario Rat 1 that I've started polishing the blade on. This is the Kershaw Speed Safe or something or other like that. I can't remember right now. I will actually put it in the description. Uh, this is an assisted open Another large folder and this is the CRKT drifter. I'm trying to do this without getting too much in front of the camera uh, And this is a smaller than the rest of these um, Right off the bat if you haven't seen it yet watch my initial impressions video. That's not the name of it I'll link it in the description and I'll actually put it at the end of this video um, in the closing of this video, I'll have the link to this video and to the update video. If you haven't watched either one of those, watch those uh, after this. I, I just don't care for this knife for EDC. The Rat 1 will always be, it stands to be my favorite, it will always be my favorite. Um, Aus 8 Steel, same as this, if, if I didn't say that before, this has got Aus 8 Steel, this is Aus 8 Steel. Holds a wicked edge and is easy to sharpen back. I'm getting a lot of glare off the light there. Um, holds an awesome edge, easy to put back sharp. Feels good in the hand. I love the grind on this blade. I love everything about this knife. This knife will never go anywhere. That knife will always be in rotation. I love everything about it. Um, this knife, you can actually move the pocket clip on either side or you can do left-handed carry. It has the thumb stud on either side. Uh, I'll link to this video. I didn't overview this knife once before. The Kershaw, uh, it, it's a good knife for a large folder. It's thicker than the Rat, but not as thick as the Schrade. Uh, this one is not one that I couldn't live without. If I lost it, I wouldn't go out and buy another one. Uh, I kind of like the assisted open function on some knives. This one does it well. Uh, it's never failed to fire on me. I don't like the grip on this one. It's got a weird pattern on the grip, on the scales. Now, yeah, I could take and take my Dremel tool and, and fix that. Uh, this one, you can also move the pocket clip up on this side for right-hand carry, or you can move it down on this side for left-hand carry. You do not have the option up here that you do on the other side. Um, it's a pretty good knife. I don't know what kind of steel this blade is. Uh, I will look it up and put it in the description. But I can tell you it's, I don't think it's Aus 8. I think it's a cheaper steel. Uh, stainless, probably. Uh, I'll, I'll put it in the description. The CRKT, uh, let's move around this side of the camera. The CRKT, um, got it for Christmas this year. Fell in love with this knife. Uh, super thin profile, frame lock. Is a smaller knife than these, so if I'm going somewhere where I'm wearing uh, khakis, slacks, what have you, I can throw that in my pocket and it doesn't take up as much room. Uh, some of you may not know, but slacks and khakis typically have smaller pockets than blue jeans do, and so this kind of works a little bit better for that. And then the super thin profile of this knife works a lot better. Uh, this is... Oh god, I can't remember the steel. 8 MOV something or other. I'll put it in the description. Uh, it's got a kind of a stone washed finish on the blade. Stainless steel scales. Yeah, I, I like this knife. Uh, if I lost this knife, I would go out and buy another one. 
just because I like the thinness of it and all that. These two knives, if I lost them, I'm not gonna run out and buy another one. These two knives, if I lost them, I am gonna go out and get another one. The Rat One will always be my favorite knife. Again, you can get aftermarket scales for them. People make them. Uh, you can customize these scales. There's a lot of options. Uh, there are guys on YouTube that are making uh, liners to go in between the scale and the frame that are actually the nitrile uh, glow in the dark uh, liners. Everything about this knife is perfect. The way it feels in the hand, the blade, everything. The drifter, it's perfect for what it is. A smaller knife, a utility knife, it's perfect for that. Kershaw, a little heavy, straight, awkward to open. So without rambling on too much, that is kind of an overview of my four EDC knives that have been in rotation for the last two months. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.